That breaking news, a man barricaded inside a business on the northwest side of Indianapolis. A SWAT unit and IMPD officers have all been on the scene for hours now. News 8's Dan Klein joining us now live uh, for us this evening from 71st and Zinesville Road with more on how it all started, Dan. Yeah, and this just changed about a minute ago. I'm going to step out of the way. We just heard a number of uh, explosions, and I cannot tell you if it was gunfire or if it was some other type of uh, I incident that was going on. So I don't know what the, the latest is right now, but th things certainly have been quiet for several hours. And then just recently we heard a number of what appeared to sound like gun gunshots, but have no idea if it was bullets or, or anything else, smoke uh, bombs or anything like that. But this all started about five o'clock. Uh, got the call of a burglary in progress and where I'm at 71st I'm on the northwest corner uh, across the street is actually where that burglary in progress uh, came in when police arrived they found the individual that you got to be very cautious I uh, got to make sure that um, there's no one in the building and that anyone uh, bystanders outside are in safe safely away from the, where the incident is occurring. So the officer will set up a uh, perimeter to make sure that um, no one outside gets hurt. And of course, you got to be patient and take time and try to uh, establish communication with the suspect so we can hopefully talk him out that uh, this uh, incident won't expand into something more dangerous. That was our Dan Klein reporting. We're going to get back to him uh, as soon as we get him back. But again, he is live near 71st and Zionsville Road, where a man is barricaded inside a business. This is the northwest side of Indianapolis. As Dan said, this started as an robbery. That's right. You can see multiple units on scene there, including the SWAT team and also IMPD officers. Once we do have more information, we'll pass it along to you. Dan Klein did report that he did hear shots just within the past few minutes. Again, once we have more, we'll, we'll get back to Dan.